and Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. So the big question is, always in survival mode, what you need to know. Okay, so survival. To be really clear with all of this, you need to understand that what you are experiencing right now did not actually begin in this lifetime. Your issues of survival began in your past incarnational experiences, okay? Unfortunately, what happens is we have these big experiences. Maybe in a past life, you uh, starved to death. Maybe you were ostracized. Maybe, you know, your family uh, got broken, broken and all kinds of intense things happened. And then people didn't have enough money to survive, all kinds of things. You know, when you just look back into our history of the world and earth and peoples, there's a lot of things that have happened that created survival, you know, famine and all kinds of things. So carrying that over into this lifetime, is, it, get carried, it gets carried over because, first, let me just say, the, the journey of the soul is to know itself in all ways. The purpose of that is to go back into the oneness from where we came okay so our journey as a soul knowing all things always so that we can merge back into the oneness and reside in that consciousness okay but what happens is is we don't have teachings we don't have understandings we don't know how things work so in a past life let's just say that you know that uh famine was happening for your family you witnessed your family starving there was nothing you could do Horrible feelings, crisis, bad, you know, watching, watching this happen. It's just sickening. Okay. So without teachings, what happens is, is we, we anchor in the emotions and, the, and that anchoring of that emotion is the belief that we're going to starve. We're going to die. And this is forever. Okay. There's all this intense emotions, all these feelings, anxieties, fears, horrors that we're having but we're not going through them. What I mean by that is we aren't knowing ourselves in these experiences. So if there was teachings happening, what would happen is, let's just pretend like it's me, okay? So past life, my family, we're starving, there's a famine, okay? But I understand the teachings. That means, yes, I'm gonna have all these emotions, the, the horror, the, the, the sickening, awful feelings of watching my own children starve to death. There's nothing I can do. There's a feeling of hopelessness and helplessness and, and just this horror. But with the knowing and what I know now, rather than just holding it in that way, but I allow myself to go through these emotions with full awareness, soul in the body, to the point to where I am those emotions. Okay? It's not a thought. I'm not telling a story. I'm going through the emotions. Okay? It doesn't change the situation. What changes is how I relate to the situation, okay? And then what happens is by going through those emotions, they don't get anchored in to the soul imprint and carried over into the future lifetimes, okay? So when we understand how the journey works, what the soul is really doing and, and how we actually unravel and clear things, then it gives us the opportunity to make changes in our lives that we didn't have the power or understanding to do. Okay? So when we look at our lifetime now, it's really important that you understand you already have survival issues. Okay? Another way to kind of discover your survival issues is when you think about money, when you think about receiving money, what happens in your body? Okay? When you say things like, Yep, I can receive a million dollars. Can you feel your heart wide open, everything in you wide open, a big old yes, and it's like, bring it on to me, okay? Probably not. Probably what happens is even saying a $1,000, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a $1,000 just dropped into my lap right here, right now. You might experience some kind of energy in your body, like a little grab, a little zingy energy, a little tightening. Okay, so pay attention because your body's always talking to you. So if you've got these beliefs, okay, if you've got anything in there that can't receive, you're going to block money coming to you. You'll block love coming to you. Okay, so it's about being able to receive. So 
when you think about receiving, you know, when we think about your lives right now, a lot of people are in survival. A lot of people are, uh, don't have money. You know, we got a lot of homelessness, people hungry. It's, it's a fact. It's not some kind of, you know, let's just pretend like people are in, in dire straits. They are. Okay? And if we take anybody and start looking at what are your beliefs around money? So I would encourage you, because this is one of the things you need to do, is you need to discover what are your beliefs. Because if you don't know what they are, how do you change them? Okay? The good news is, is when you start understanding what your beliefs are, then you are empowered to take action and to do something about these beliefs. Now, remember, even these beliefs are coming from past lives. Let's go back to the famine, starving. So if I've got it anchored in, there's not enough, we're going to starve, we're going to die, there'll never be enough, because that's what's happening. But I don't, I don't go through these emotions, then I carry that over, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to do the same thing, it'll just look different, different people, different scenarios, different times, but the feeling is still the same. Not enough, fear, anxiety, stress, worry, okay, hope, helpless and hopeless. Okay, so at a soul level, what's actually happening is the soul wants to know itself in these ways. The only way to know itself in these ways is through direct experience and to go through the experiences with awareness, consciousness, and soul in the body going through deep, profound emotions. And then the energy unravels and clears, and then that issue is no longer there. So keep in mind, too, this is really vitally important to understand, is your subconscious is what creates your reality. So if you got back to the famine, whatever got anchored into the subconscious is still in the subconscious. That is what's being echoed out or direct, like radio waves going out into the world. We have our higher levels that are orchestrating things. So if I have this belief that I'm, you know, there's not enough, I'm gonna be hungry, I don't have shelter, don't have clothes, can't feed my kids. That's helpless and hopeless. If I'm holding that in my subconscious, carried over from past life to famine, okay? Then that's the energy that's being echoed out, radio waves echoed out into the world, into the universe. Higher levels are only doing what is inside of me. So guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna experience that same kind of energy, that same kind of experience because of the emotion. So again, if I'm having these experiences, but I'm not going through the emotions of it, then I'll carry it over again and again and again. Okay, so the opportunity now, people, is that we can shift and change our reality, yet we have to discover what are our beliefs in our subconscious. This is vital. Okay, if you don't, you'll keep doing the same thing affirmations aren't going to change it. We're talking your subconscious. Your conscious mind cannot know what's in your subconscious. So I'm just going to encourage you to consider taking action. So some of the ways that you can take action to discover what are your beliefs is look at different areas of your life where you're feeling in, in you know, where you're feeling destitute or you're feeling traumatized or you're feeling afraid. Okay. Are you worried financially? Okay, so if you're worried financially, then let's look at your beliefs around money. Best thing to do is start writing down your beliefs like money, okay, money. What does money mean to you? I mean, dig in here, dig deep and really do this exercise, okay? So if money means to you that only people, wealthy people have it or only greedy people have it, then you need to understand that, that's a, that you've got that belief in there. That means you've got evidence and proof from past lives, but that's a fact, okay? So find out what you believe around money. As you start digging in, maybe you'll start having the understanding like, ooh, other people will have money, but I won't. Other people get to have money. I'll never get to have money. I want to win the lottery, but I know I never will, okay? So all of your beliefs... They're just that, they're beliefs. And yet those beliefs create our reality, okay? But you need to know what your beliefs are. That's why I'm asking you, do this exercise. Start writing down. And as you start writing down, more will come to you around money, okay? 
you'll start looking at and then also looking at what did you grow up with? Okay, what was the family theme? What was the around money? What was happening with money? Okay, so whatever that is, you've got a family history, you know, you have some belief systems. Remember, you're trying to discover what are your beliefs. So by writing it out, writing stuff down, digging in, asking questions, remembering, you're going to get a lot of info around money. Okay. Once you have this information, then you have a sense of what's holding you back, what's blocking you, stopping you from having money come to you. And then once you have that, then you start looking at the emotions, okay? How does it make you feel? This is really vitally important, okay? Because remember, famine, beliefs anchored in, I have feel helpless and hopeless. I feel deep regret. I feel sad. I feel shame, okay? So all these emotions I'm discovering as I'm writing out the issue around money, now I'm finding out, oh, yeah, I feel... I feel like I'm helpless. I feel like I'm a victim. I feel like, you know, I feel like I've got so much grief and sadness and trauma. Okay? But you're discovering what's in your subconscious. And remember, awareness is the first key, first step to changing your life. So now you're starting to discover the emotions. Okay. So first you wrote out all your beliefs. Now you're looking to discover what, how do all these beliefs make me feel? Now you're discovering the emotions and you can feel them as you're feeling into thinking about your life and writing it out. Now you've got all the, you know, the emotions. Now the next step is, is to go through these emotions. You can actually do this. You really can. Okay. Now I understand that there are people who are numb. If that's the case, then you're going to have to work a little harder to get in touch with your emotions. You're going to have to utilize different events in your life that activate you. Maybe you watch movies, read books, or whatever you need to do to start getting in touch with the emotions. Okay. But basically, for those who are able to start feeling in, again, what you do is, okay, so now you know, I feel, let's just go with the feeling, I, I just feel hopeless. Okay. So, you start to let yourself feel into that emotion of feeling hopeless, okay? The key is to drop the mind. You can use the mind for the story to activate the emotion. Once the emotion is being felt, you no longer need the story. You have to drop the story, okay? So once you're in a feeling state and you're feeling that feeling of hopeless, it's going to be excruciating. It's going to be painful. You're going to feel like you're going to die. You're going to feel like you're going to go crazy. You're going to feel like you're going to get lost in here forever, okay? do it anyway. The key is to go through the emotion so fully. Okay, remember to make sure your soul levels are inside the body, you're, you're totally here, and then you lose the mind and become the emotion until the energy of that emotion subsides and there's nothing left. What happens when you clearly release the energy of a, of a feeling, like that feeling of hopelessness, you can't find it. When you think about the money, thinking about you know, lack, not enough money, that, but that feeling of, of hopelessness, you can't find it, it's gone. When that's gone, then, you, you know, then you move on to the next emotion. So what you're doing is you're going through your list, finding the emotions. Sometimes they're, they're linked together, tied together, but you let yourself go through them all the way through till when you're done, it's like, whoa, I can't feel that feeling anymore, that emotion anymore. And that's the key is we got to go through these emotions to the point to where they don't exist any longer, right? And so then you're going to look at other components of your life as well. You know, like when we think about, you know, always, you know, in survival mode, it's like, okay, so what else? Okay, so it's not just money. Now I'm worried about food. Okay, but money, of course, will take care of it, but there's still an issue around food. Let's go back to the famine. We starved, okay? So... There's something in there where we have a fear of starving. We have something in the subconscious that we're going to starve to death. How does that make us feel? How does it make you feel? Start right again, write down, not enough food, being hungry. What does that mean to you? What does that look like to you? What are the emotions? Again, you're, you know, you're making notes, you're digging deep, you're asking yourselves really pertinent questions because you are looking for your emotional wounding. 
You're looking for the emotions that you've got anchored in. You've, cre you've got conclusions and beliefs based on your past lives and the experiences you were having that are affecting you right here, right now. You need to find out what these are so that you can release them, clear them, be done with them, right? <clears throat> so when we think about even relationship, okay? Survival, even in relationship, you know, that whole feeling like always in survival. You know, maybe you've got relationship, maybe you're without relationship, but whatever, whatever you're living, remember, it didn't start here. You know, you've got beliefs around relationship, okay? So, you know, so sometimes we have a belief that we do need somebody or we don't need somebody, you know? Those are beliefs. They're not true and real, okay? So, but whatever's there is creating blockages in your energy field. And then also there's blockages in your subconscious. Like there could be something around not deserving to have help, not deserving to be supported. You've got, you might have beliefs in your subconscious that there's something wrong with you. Okay, that you're bad or that you've done atrocities. Oh, let's go back to famine. I could have anchored in. I'm such a, you know, I should have done something. It's all, you know, it's all my fault that my family's starving and I'm blaming myself and I'm punishing myself. And so I'm anchoring it in, you know, that I did bad I, I, and I deserve to be punished. I deserve to suffer. If I've got those beliefs in my subconscious, that's what I'm going to experience in this lifetime, feeling punished, suffering, okay? Again, we have to discover our beliefs. So coming back to the famine, all right, so, okay, here we go. Relate, even in with relationship, you know, it's like everything is about discovering deeper, deeper, deeper. What did I believe? How did I conclude? Because your body will tell you. You'll feel the charge. You'll feel the grab. You'll feel the zing. You will feel energy in your body when it's not the truth so if i like when i say yes send me a million dollars i can receive it and i can feel a grab then i know it's not the truth okay if i talk about relationship yes i want relationship where i'm honored and respected and cherished and loved okay oh i feel oh there's a little grab there hmm okay these grabs are telling you you don't believe it they're telling you there's something different in there that isn't what you're thinking in your conscious mind. So you're in one way, you're saying, yes, I want this. I want money. I want relationship. I want love. You know, I want housing. Clothes, I want every, you know, whatever that is. But what's happening in the body? What are you experiencing? Okay. So we have to discover. So you keep writing. Use all the different areas of your life. If it's about relationship, if it's about money. Even your health is going to be affected by your carryover beliefs, okay? So that, you know, that always in survival mode, there's something there and it's, it's going to be connected to love. That's going to be connected to survival, meaning it's going to be connected to what did you experience in the, in the past? Did you go hungry? Were you alone? Well, you know, all the different things, scenarios that happen that put us in survival, when we fear for our life, then we are in survival. So even when you're doing your, your writing, you can even talk about, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to be hungry. I'm afraid I'm not going to have a home. I'm afraid those of you who aren't, well, you know, people that are homeless, and then the next step would be I'm going to starve to death or freeze to death or whatever. But get your fears down so you actually see them and, and are able to let yourself unravel these so that you can be free from these unconscious beliefs okay this is how you are going to change that feeling of always being in survival mode okay you have to take action you have to dig deep you have to be willing to face yourself ask questions discover what are you holding on to you know what's in here and again the more you discover the more you understand yourself you understand your beliefs, but you also start to understand how you are blocking yourself from the very things you say you want. If you want to come out of that survival mode, then you know you have to discover what is your survival? What is that? What's anchored in your subconscious? Okay. So again, doesn't matter what it is, okay? Food, talk about food, write about food, write about housing, protection, you know, where you live write it out, 
okay? Receiving money, money coming to you. See, here's the thing. What you don't know is when you no longer have some kind of belief blocking your ability to receive money, it just starts coming in ways that you had no clue about, okay? It just starts happening, okay? So get in there and discover, you know, your survival. Write out survival. What does it look like to you? What does it mean to you? What happens for you? Talk about your fears. Write out your fears, your concerns, your worries. Write out your beliefs about each topic, each piece of the, of the exercise that you're writing about so that you get really clear. And then you have the opportunity and the ability to start taking action, again, where you actually go through these emotions to clear them so that they are no longer in your subconscious. Okay? The best way to know if they're gone is when you've finished, when you've done your, you know, your exercises, you've gone through emo emotional feelings, deeply unraveling, and you come out of it. And what happens is, is your mind keeps waiting for the body to have a reaction, and it doesn't. It takes about three days for the mind to let it go. Okay. Also, when you're thinking about the same thoughts. They're neutral. There's no charge. There's no zing. You're not having a reaction. When you've done that, then, you know, when you're at that state where, whoa, there's no reaction. I'm just neutral. Neutral. How cool is that? Then you know that you've cleaned something up. And then occasionally you might get tested, like, oh, here comes something to kind of activate that wound, but there's no, you didn't get activated. You didn't have a reaction. Then you know you've cleaned up and cleared, cleared up that energy that you got carried over from the past, it, it's not in there anymore. Okay. Think of this. Think of your beliefs as magnets. Okay. So famine, what did I live? Ooh, I'm going to starve to death. My kids, I'm going to watch my children die of starvation. All those emotions, intense, intense. Okay. So I've got that anchored in. It's in me. Okay. It's like, there it is anchored in my subconscious. And, and of course, that's what's going to begin to create my reality. Okay, so as I as I start to unravel, clear these energies, clear these beliefs, clear them out so they don't exist anymore. So that you know, I think about things, and it just you know, there's just no reaction. I mean, that's like liberation, and that's what we really want. So again, it's like everything, whatever you're living, whatever you're experiencing, get really clear. Okay, write it out very clearly. Right, 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 right. And then go after the emotions, 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 emotions. Okay, all the emotions. Then you know what the emotions are. Okay? And then remembering, oh, that's coming from the famine, carried over, got all these beliefs, you know, oh, there's something wrong with me. But no matter what these are, we must go through them so that we know them at a soul level so that we don't keep recreating it again and again and again. We've been doing this for you know, lifetimes, recreating the same, same scenario, same beliefs over and over. So now you know, we're stepping into the new paradigm, new world, new earth, the light is shining brighter, all the unconscious stuff is being pulled to the surface, getting activated. So now we have the ability even more than ever to clear out our subconscious so that we can begin to create a life where we do feel supported, where we feel loved, where we feel like we matter, like we feel like we belong, or, you know, that all is well, no matter what's happening in the world. So we, you know, so we just have to find out. And your job, your mission is to discover what's in your subconscious. But remember, again, your conscious mind will never know it. You have to take action in a way that starts to put things in front of you. So you start to see it visually, you hear it, you speak it so that you understand it. And then you have that opportunity where you can actually take action and change your life, okay? So remember, always in survival mode, what you need to know, this is what you need to know. And this will make a difference. This will change your life. And you will feel a sense of, of, of you know, like where you can really start taking charge of your life where you're no longer whipped around, no longer the victim, no longer the poor me. I have, you know, no abilities and nothing I can do. I'm just trapped in this. It's not true. You're not trapped in anything. You're creating it. And that's what you need to know. You need to understand you're creating your reality 100%. No one's doing it to you. 
and it's all about your subconscious and it's all about your carryover from past lives. So I encourage you to take action. I encourage you to play with this and discover what's in your subconscious and then start unraveling it and clearing it and watch how your life starts to unfold and shift and change. At Spiritual Acceleration, we have many, many ways to support you in this journey. Okay? You can actually get help with the accelerators. You can go to the clinic. It's a 15 minute quick, you know, get, get energy move quickly. So there's the clinic. Uh, you can get, um, go to our vault. We have over, you know, almost 300 videos in there. We have many videos on, you know, uh, victimization, on money, um, belief systems. We've got chakra stuff which reminds me we do have an amazing first chakra clearing which is on survival on september 24th at noon this is an awesome awesome opportunity to unravel that first chakra just so you understand what happens is people write in what's happening for them i take their information extract the the you know the key stuff and i have a whole list so everyone who's attending is getting not just their issues unraveled, but all the other issues coming from other participants that are attending this, this chakra clearing so that you're getting the benefit of many, 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 many issues more than just your, your what you were thinking of. Because remember, same in you, same in me. We all have the same issues, but some things are more in our awareness than others, but it's all there. So you're getting the benefit of you know, everybody's issues. So that first chakra series clearing on September 24th at noon will be life-changing. I've had so many people saying how profound it was for them. Just so you're aware, so even if you um, can't attend in person that chakra series, you can still get the video and watch it and still get the benefit of the clearing. They're just as potent, just as powerful as being there live. So you don't have to, like you can get it, take advantage of it and get in on that series and that clearing. And again, you don't have to be there in person. All right. Thanks for watching.